Hi, this is the second supplementary video for our course data visualization. And in the previous video, we have created our Flask project and it's running now, as you can see. And by clicking this run button, we can just restart our server and we can click this link to see the output. And now we just have this string output, which comes from this function. All right. The first thing we are going to do is to create an HTML template. Uh, in Flask, we have the Jinja 2 template engine, so it can basically pass our uh, Python variables into an HTML template and it parses this templates and uh, produces the HTML output. So to create an HTML template, first thing I'm going to do is to import the required class from the Flask library and it's called render underscore template. So we are going to have it. And also we have these default folders, which comes from, which comes with the default Flask project. We have static and we have templates. And this folder is for just the virtual environment. It doesn't matter. It is not important. And in static folder, we can have our CSS files or we can have our JavaScript files, maybe some images or some other static resources. And in the templates folder, we can have our HTML templates. And I'm going to right click this templates folder and new, and then I'm going to create a new HTML file. Let's give a name to this file. Let's use index for this moment. And it comes with this default structure. So to use the Python variables in the HTML templates, we just use the double curly brackets like this. And inside these double curly brackets, we can use the variable names. So let's say title with the lowercase letters, and I'm going to save it. And with the Python site, I'm going to use this HTML template now. So let's come back to here. Let's delete this part. And also I'm going to change the name of this function. Let's use the same name for this function also, index. It doesn't have to be with the same name, but I'm going to, I just use same name for this it's just optional for you and i'm going to change this part instead of returning just a string i'm going to return render template so let's say render template here all right and then i'm going to pass the name of the html template as an argument so let's use index.html and after this we can just send our python variables or some values from the dynamical side, from the Python side to the HTML side. All right. So we have used the name of the variable as title. So the name of the argument should be also title. And then we can just pass the value for this variable. Let's just use the name of the course for this moment. Let's say data visualization. All right. And then save it. And then uh, Flask is not for an asynchronous server, so asynchronous web application. So when we change something, then we should restart our server. So I'm going to click this button to restart our application. And then we can click this link. And now we have this. We have nothing inside this uh, web document, but we just have the correct title, as you can see. All right. So we can also check the source of this file by clicking the control U and then we have this source. All right. Uh, so instead of the double curly brackets title, we just have the value of this variable now. So we can just turn back to our source file, Python file. And as I said, we have the name of the course as the data visualization. So we are going to have two main parts. The first part is going to be about data. So the first thing we are going to do is to learn the methods to get some data. So we can get the data from just a text file or CSV file or some maybe from some database or we can get it from the web. All right. So to start, I'm going to just get some data from a well-known website, which is called cybinan.com. So let's run our browser and see what we have. Let's go to the website cybinan.com. 
and I'm going to get some data about a car so it's going to be a Citroen C3 Air Cross but it's not a car it's a SUV so let's click Citroen as a brand and then for the CS C3 Air Cross and with the engine 1.5 Blue HD Blue HDI diesel engine and the trim package is filled so we have this 45 cars all right i'm going to get some data from this website let's see the source of the file so we have this long and complicated html source actually and to extract some data from this html source we are going to use a python module which is called selenium actually selenium is for uh, some tests about the web application so you can just uh, when you develop a web application you can just select you can just test your web application by using selenium so it just uh, behaves behave like a real user so it can click some links or it can download some files uh, it's, so basically it can test your website all right but we are going to use this module to get some data from a website so let's turn back to our application python source file so let's start by importing the required package so first thing i'm going to do is to import the web driver from selenium module so let's say from selenium import web driver so with this module we can just create an instance to our uh, web browser and it can behave like a real human real user right so we have this red line and it says you don't have selenium in your virtual environment so i'm coming this area and then click install package selenium and when you don't want to do it like this you can just click from here Python packages and you can install the required package by yourselves let's prefer this method we are waiting for the same package now all right now with this video we can just now create our html templates and we can also install some new modules some libraries some new libraries to our virtual environments with the next video we are going to continue to use this web driver class by using the chrome web browser